Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 341. It's a hard level problem and a good one to solve. Okay. Uh, the problem name is minimize the total price of the trips. Okay. So there exists an undirected and unrooted tree with n nodes indexed from 0 to n minus 1. You are given the integer n and a 2D integer array edges of length n minus 1. Okay. Where edges of i is ai comma bi which indicates that there is an edge between ai and bi in the tree okay each node has an associated price you are given an er integer array price where price of i is the price of the ith node now the price sum of a given path is the sum of the prices of all the nodes lying on that particular path okay so additionally you are also given a 2d integer array trips where trips of i is start i comma end i indicating that you start the trip you start the ith trip from node start i and travel to the node end i by any path you like okay now this this is tricky this is tricky by any path you like we are given a tree okay with n nodes and there are no since that that is a tree so we'll have n minus one edges right and there will be only one path from a particular node to another node like this is node x this is node y so there exists only one path so this line is tricky it says that by any path you like there is only one path okay before performing your first trip you can choose some non adjacent nodes and half the prices okay return the minimum total price sum to perform all the given trips so the problem says that you are given a tree like this is a tree okay this is a tree and that is represented by n equals to 4 that means i have four nodes these are the edges like 0 and 1 is connected 1 and 2 is connected and 1 and 3 is connected this is my input also i have price of i so node number 0 has a price of 2, node number 1 has a price of 2, node number 10 has a uh, 2 has a price of 10 and so on. Okay, this is what they are trying to say. Now the last array is a trips array. It says that you perform certain trips. This is trip 1. In trip 1, you start from node 0 and you go to node 3. In trip 2, you start from node 2, you go to 1. In trip 3, you start from node 2, you go to 3. Okay. So obviously, when you are performing a trip, okay, we are performing a trip, like for example, from 0 to 3. So if you have to go from 0 to 3, you go like this, right? You go like this. Now, what is the cost of this? It is 2 plus this 2 plus this 6. Okay. That is 10. The cost of this is 10. Similarly, there will be some cost for this trip as well, like from 2 to 1. So 2 to 1, the cost is node number 2 plus node number 1, that is 12. And similarly, there's a cost from 2 to 3 as well. So node number 2 to, to node number 3. So there is 2, 1, 3. Okay. So you have some cost. So this is the total cost. Now you have to find the minimum cost. Okay. By doing an operation. What is that operation? You can select some non-adjacent nodes. Okay. Like these are nodes, right? These are nodes. You can select some non-adjacent nodes. No, but what do we mean by what do we mean by adjacent nodes? Which are connected by an edge. Okay any node any two nodes which are not directly connected by an edge like for example this and this are non adjacent okay however this node and this node is adjacent this node and this node is adjacent okay so you can choose some non adjacent nodes and half the prices okay half the prices of those nodes now you have to tell what is the minimum price i'll have to pay to for all these trips okay for all these trips so given a tree these are the edges this is the price of each node these are the trips okay you have and you are allowed to have the prices of some of the non adjacent nodes okay you can you can have them it doesn't matter how many nodes you select they should be non adjacent and you have to tell the minimum cost uh, that is there to perform all the trips right so like for example this is the first this is the first example so let me show you how it works okay so this is the first example now this is my tree okay this is my tree now I have to perform trip 0 to 3. Okay. So node number 0 to node number 3. So I go from 0 to 1, then 1 to 3. Then the second trip is 2 to 1. So 2 to 1. So I directly go from 2 to 1. Then it's 2 to 3. So I go from 2 to 1 to 3. Getting it? So these are the nodes that I visit. Hence the cost will be, the initial cost will be if I don't do any change. So 0. 0 is 2 plus 1 is 2 plus 3 is 6 for this one it is 2 is 10 okay and 1 is 2 and for this 2 1 3 right so it is 10 
plus 2 plus 6. This is the total cost. Now, I can have the prices of some of the nodes, okay? So let's have the prices of node number 2, 0 and 3, okay? Let's have the prices. So what will happen? If you have the prices, okay, then ultimately what will happen is if I talk about the price of this, so the price of 0 is halved. So initial price is 2, now it becomes 1 plus then you go to 1. It is not halved. It remains 2 plus what is the price of node number 3? Initially, it was 6. Now I half it, so it becomes 3. So 6. 6 is the cost that I have to pay to for trip 1. What about trip 2? Okay. So node number 2 is halved. So initially it was 10. Now it becomes 5 plus what about node number 1? It remains as it is. So it is 7. Okay. So 6 plus 7. Till now 13 is the cost that I have paid. What about the last trip? 2 to 3. Okay. So 2 is now 5. The cost of 2 is 5. This remains as 2. And what about 3? 3 was initially 6. Now it becomes 3. Okay. Node number 3. So this is 10. So 13 plus 10. 23 is the total cost that I'll have to pay. And see, 23 is my answer. Getting it? So this is what we need to do. So let's come to the intuition part. Okay. Let's come to the intuition part. First thing is, okay, first thing is, this is a tree. So there will be only one path. There will be only one valid path between any two nodes. There can't be multiple paths. Okay. That's the trick. Now, another thing to note is I am given the trips. Okay. I have the trips. Now, if I, if I see that each node, how many times I visit each of these nodes. Okay. How many times I visit each of these nodes. Like for example, in this. The node, node number 0 is visited how many times? 1 time. Node number 1 is visited how many times? 1, 2, 3. 3 times. Okay. Node number 1 is visited 3 times. What about node number 2? 1, 2. Node number 2 is visited 2 times. Node number 3 is visited 1, 2. Okay. So, this is the, this is the contribution of every node. I mean to say, 0 is visited 1 time. Node number 1 is visited 3 times, node number 2 is visited 2 times, node number 3 is visited 2, uh, two times, right? This is what I know because of these trips. Now, now somehow what I have to do is, I have to select some nodes and basically decrease their cost by just uh, uh, dividing it by 2, right? That's what I need to do, got it? That's what I need to do. So, once you come up with this, once you come up with this, this problem reduces to... You, you find a contribution of each and every node. This is what you have done. Now you have to decrease this cost. So this problem actually reduces to something similar to this that you have a tree. Okay. You have a tree. Right. You have a tree. And what you have to do? You can have this node. If you have this, then you cannot have these nodes. Okay. So now I'll be just writing a recursive solution. A recursive solution for this one. Like checking all the possibilities. What are the possibilities? The possibilities will be I'll select any I'll select any node, any node as the root node, right? Any node as the root node. Now what I'll do? I'll check all the possibilities. Like if I have this node, what happens? If I don't have this node, don't divide this node. Okay. If I have it, if I divide it, then I can't touch their child nodes. I can't touch their. I cannot divide them. Okay then the only possibility will be I can possibly divide the grandchild nodes, okay, grandchildren. However, if I don't divide it, then what happens? I can divide these nodes, okay. This is a, a basic brute force approach and obviously since uh, you will have uh, recalculations for some of the subtrees, so you will memoize it, okay. So this is what we do, a typical dynamic programming problem. So if I show you the code, how it works, you will get a better feel of it, okay. Like this is the code, okay? This is the code, this is the main function, this is the number of nodes I have, these are the edges, price and trips, okay? Now, obviously I have taken a variable add, an attribute of this class only because I do not want to pass n to every function, okay? The first function is construct tree, okay? This is the function, construct tree. So this guy, what it does is, it, it basically constructs an adjacency list that, okay, node number one is, what, what are the nodes that node number one is connected to and so on, okay? So this is what I have done for every node I have, uh, kept an array list and then I have constructed the tree, right? Basic stuff. Okay. This part is done. Now it's time to calculate the trip contribution, right? For every trip, we have to calculate that, uh, how many times a particular node was visited and I have to take it globally, right? So just see, I'll, I, for all the trips, just see for all the trips, for each and every trip, I'll call this function trip contribution. I'll pass the starting and the ending node. Okay. Now let's see what it does. 
this is the trip contribution function this is the source this is the destination i'll perform a bread first search i'll perform a bread first search okay what i'll do uh, this is the queue that i have this visited is a hash set is bas it basically keeps a track of which nodes are visited so that i do not visit the same node again and again okay this is a parent array that i have kept why i have kept it is because suppose i start from this node okay this is my starting node and i st I, and i go in this way but my destination is somewhat here okay so this is start this is end but obviously i'll be exploring all the paths right so this basically keeps a track that for this node this is my parent for this node this is my parent okay now as soon as i visit it, visit my destination node i know what are the parents okay i have to i have to uh, just move uh, up in the ladder right so from e i move to its parent then from here i move to its parent now, obviously the source node from where i started its parent will be minus 1 right so i'll be using this technique so that I, I know that which particular nodes came in my path okay from start to end which particular nodes came in my path that's the main thing you can do it in in, in any other way as well but yeah that's totally up to you so this is the parent array that i have i have taken uh, initially everything is minus 1 okay and then you add the source node in the queue you add the source node in the visited hash set now you perform a simple bfs okay uh, pull the node uh, that is in the front if current equals to destination yes you've got the destination just break the loop else for all the neighbors check whichever neighbors are not visited add that in the hash set update the parent for it and add that in the queue simple bfs right now once you are done with this okay you come out of the loop current equals to destination means you start from here now you have found the destination and now you start moving up so what this will do i'll increment i've taken an array node visit count node visit count is an array of size n which basically is a global array so that for all the trips i know that how many times node number 0 1 2 3 4 5 how many times a particular node is visited so if for every trip i'll update this array only this is a global array and that is what i'm doing and current equals to parent current okay so for every trip i'll call this function and that function will be updating this global array only so after i have done it for all the trips right after i've done it for all the trips i'll have this array node visited array and this will have the contribution of every node okay the count of every node what do what do i mean by this uh this count remember i told that zero came one time one came three time and so on so that's the main motive why i'm doing it okay okay now you're done with it so this is this is an extra error that i've taken why i have taken it because now i know the contribution of every node that how many times it is coming i also know the price of every node okay so that's what i'm doing here current price of i equals to how many times that node came into the price of that particular node this is to initialize my array this is to initialize my array and i'll pass it here okay and i'll pass it here because i'll be using this array to see whether uh, what is the cost if I divide this particular node or if I do not divide, right? So this is the, this basically holds that the ith node, the cost of ith node will be uh, the number of times that node came in all the trips into the price of that node, okay? This is why I've done it. And then I call this function, this helper function. Now let's see what this helper function does. So in helper function, I pass zero because this is my root node, okay? And what are the other things? This is the current price. Let's move to the helper function, okay? Obviously, the for the first node, the parent will be minus one. I start from here. This is my parent. This is the current price, right? So for the current node, I see what are my neighbors, okay? And for every node, I'll have two possibilities. I start from here. I'll have two possibilities. Either I don't divide or I divide, okay? Now let's check both the possibilities, right? So now what will happen here? for all the neighbors i check if it is not equals to parent because i don't want to uh, again traverse it right so if neighbor is not equal to parent uh, traverse or else calculate the child of the cost so i am performing a post order traversal means you first process your child nodes and then you process the root node okay first you process the child node so just this children cost equals to helper this is your neighbor because this is the node that you want to process now and this is the parent now for neighbor node and this is the current price array okay now what do i mean by this let me erase it okay what do i mean by this so don't divide don't divide means that if i don't divide <coughs> sorry what happens if i don't divide the current node okay if i don't divide the current node then there is a chance that i can divide okay i can divide my child nodes there is a possibility i am open for it right 
and if i divide the current node this is for the current node if i divide the current node that then what i what i'll do i will basically select the min of these two right this is what i do finally since this is a post order traversal this is a post order traversal then what happens L look i am returning an array which has two possibilities right what are these two possibilities you take the current node the price of the current node okay you take the price of the current node and what if you divided your child nodes okay this don't divide and divide i think by mistake i said that this was a uh, for the current node this basically is for the child nodes okay so this tells that this is the cost of your current node okay and this is what you get if you divide your child nodes okay and what is the other possibility the other possibility is you divide the current node that is why you are doing by 2 you divide the price of the current node and since you divide it you cannot divide your child nodes because they are adjacent right so you 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 see what are the don't divide nodes okay simple so let me reiterate because this can be a little bit complex okay so this child i calculate children cost it returns two things the first thing is what if you divide and what if you don't divide and eh? this is for child nodes okay so the first thing is the first thing look i'm taking the zeroth uh, the zeroth index first thing says that for the current node you don't touch it okay since you don't touch it you have a chance of dividing your child nodes okay so if you don't divide this is what you get if you divide it what you get if you divide the current node then you cannot divide your child node these are the two possibilities that i get a simple uh, i would say uh, uh, what do you call it a dfs approach where you are uh, what do you call it um, checking for all the possibilities right checking for all the possibilities got it this is what you do and finally and look one thing if you are dividing it if you are dividing it right if you if you if you can divide your child nodes so you obviously choose the minimum of right you are, or obviously choose the minimum of what is the minimum cost if i divide my child nodes or if i do not divide my child nodes so these are the two possibilities right so finally this guy returns an array what is the cost if you divide it what is the cost if you do not divide it right so this is what you get hence you return the minimum of these two answer of zero and answer of one and this is your final answer this is your minimum cost right the first one will tell what is the cost if, if you divide the if you divide the child nodes what is the cost if you do not divide the child nodes right so for every node you start from here you start from here first you calculate for your child nodes every child node this child node will return that will return that if you divide me then what is the cost if you do not divide me then what is the cost it goes here similarly it comes here right this guy checks that if i do not divide myself if i do not divide myself then i can divide these two or i can leave them as it is okay so i take the i take a possibility of this path and if i divide myself then i cannot divide them i'll i'll have to take their full values okay i'll have to take their full values so this is don't divide right so this is what we are doing so this is the exact code uh, yeah that we have for this one so yeah do let me know in case of any queries and i hope you learn something new from this video this was a good problem uh, i would say the trick here was uh, obviously you see that this is a tree right so there will be only one path the second thing is you are given the trips so for this tri for these trips you if you find out that what is the contribution of each node then you can uh, do it something like this that don't perform the divide operation on adjacent nodes so if you select node node x you cannot select node x plus one to divide it okay so these were the tricks and yeah i hope you enjoyed it do let me know in case of any uh, any queries in the comment section and yeah i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye